If you want to see me create another look using the Lancôme Holiday Blockbuster Kit for 2020, then stick around. Hi there, it's Hélène, and yeah, we're going to dig into this palette a second time. And if you are not familiar with it, this is the palette. I'll put it uh, to you right side up. Uh, I did create a look with these shadows right here, along with this one and this one. And uh, I am ready to do another look for you as I promised. So I was thinking initially of going into either the red or the kind of fuchsia purple here, but I'm changing my mind. I decided to go for the red lip, which is the red stiletto color that came in the kit. It was a a nude and a bright red, which is this one that was in the kit. And I thought, why not do more of a smoky gold kind of an eye today and also take the opportunity to try that really blingy highlighter that I did not want to use last time. So let me just bring out the uh, face palette. So it's, it's, a, it's an eyeshadow palette and a face palette. And last time I did use the bronzer and this more peachy blush. And I want to go into this one today and really bring out the gold. And I think gold with a gold, with a, a red lip will look good. All I'm going to use is this brush that came with last year's kit. Uh, this year's kit, this powder brush is smaller. But since I have both, I decided to use uh, last year's. Um, this, um, this brush head uh, for the face products is about a third smaller in this year's package. And I... I I just want to use a, a bigger uh, powder brush. So I'm going to go into the bronzer and just put that on my cheeks. I do have a uh, Tartiste Pro Glow contour on my face already, but I don't have anything that is bronzy or blushy on my cheeks. I did put as well the um, Cover FX Moonlight highlighter on my cheeks. Um, it's the cream version from my... Um, uh, cream quad that I'm trying to pan from uh, Cover FX, which I shouldn't say trying to pan because I'm doing a decent job. If you want to see my latest update, I'll put it right there. Doing a decent job of it. And I should be because I've been working on it all year and we're mid-October. All right, so I'm going to continue on with a little bit of more of that bronzer. Okay, now we're going to go into this puppy, which is a very, very blingy, there's a hint of peach, but it's just, it's a lot of gold, and it's definitely a highlighter. So I've just put some on my brush, and just wish me luck here to go on the cheekbones primarily. It's going to show texture for sure. Getting a little bit away from the ring light. Do you see how? Whoa! Wow. Okay. There's a reason I was sheepish. It is definitely showy. I have something pilled. I'm not sure what's causing the pilling, but it's two days in a row now, and I have I have a couple of products that are not working nicely together. So if you see anything in my hairline, that's what, that's what's going on. I thought I got most of it, but the ring light does not lie. Okay, so this is very 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 shiny. I think it's coming through on camera because it's certainly coming through on the viewfinder. And it's um it's it's something else that's for sure. And I think that just to tie in the look, I'm going to put that same kind of blingy um, highlighter on my brow bone. I'm going to see, and I can always go back into the beige color and tone it down if I need to. I did put some of that Moonlight uh, Cream Highlighter from Cover Effects as well on my brows uh, before I started filming. This is looking okay. It's deeper in the pan than what it looks like when it's applied, which is good. At least for my purposes, that is a good thing. I'm, I'm really digging this pretty, pretty much. 
All right, now we're going to go into the rest of the palette and I want to see what it is that I'm going to start off with. I'm going to put the face products away. I don't need those anymore. I don't feel I need uh, a blush or anything because it's, it's kind of peachy, shiny, red lip. I don't think I feel, I don't feel like I need more. And I'm just debating on whether to start off deeper or not. I think I'm going to start with this color in the crease, which is very similar to what I already have in the crease, but, oh gosh, I keep forgetting how powdery these are. Uh, see how much I've loaded on the brush, it's crazy. I'm just going to go into the crease with this. Okay, there is more to this color than I thought, probably just because I picked up so much. Something can get pigmented if you pick up enough. Holy cow. Okay. I mean, pigmented for a beigey brown. <laughs> okay, more pilling. That's fun. Okay, so that looks good. I'm going to do just all one eye and then do the other eye off camera. I think I'm going to just pick up the kick up and do a little bit more. Okay, and I think I'm going to go back into the brown that I used last time, this one right here, and go into the crease and outer lid. Uh, last time I did intensify the outer lid with the black, but I won't do that today. Just going to go with beiges and browns and golds. Because I want um, the red lip to be the emphasis today. One thing I can tell you about this um, palette, because it's a shiny uh, plastic packaging, if you get, if you go crazy about having fingerprints on your makeup packages, you're not going to like, like this uh, outer packaging. I keep wiping off my fingerprints and it drives me a little bit crazy. These are very dry eyeshadows. Nothing creamy about them really. Okay, and I'm going to go in with that same brown on the outer lower lid. Just on the tip of the brush. I'm just going to stamp first. And then drag. Just to try to avoid some of the fallout. The mirror is nice and big on the palette. That's a nice thing. I think I'm going to do the same thing on the upper outer lash line is just to get more of that brown on. Okay, that's getting to be pretty deep. And just with whatever is left on the brush, I'm going to go all the way up to the brow. Okay, so that's very brown. And now we want to go into gold colors. And I think the right one to go for is going right for the bling. This is the most gold shadow there is in the palette. So let's just go for it. I'm just wiping the brush on my jeans. Yep, that's how classy I am today. And um, I'm going to use this same brush and attempt to put the gold on and I'll probably finish with my finger. So I've got the brush loaded and let's see what happens. I don't know if you can see, I have some fallout right there. Just, just to let you know, these, um, mentioned it in the last video, these are quite powdery. I've got some of the brown right on my nose. Okay, I'm going to go in with my finger and get some of that sparkly gold and really make that eyeshadow pop if I can. So that's pretty. I wouldn't mind doing a little bit more. I think that it's a little bit more powdery than I thought it would be. And then if I really wanted it to pop, I would put a glitter glue underneath. 
but there's definite glitter. It's it's definitely festive. There's no problem there. And I do like a statement lip with a with more neutral eye. I think that looks good. Okay, let's try to get rid of that fallout. So I'm just going to take that brush from the other end and just try to... Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, that was that was easy to uh, to get off. And okay, all I'm going to do now, do I want to do anything with the brow bone? I think I'm going to go in with that cream color and just lighten up the brow a little bit. There's just a lot going on. There's more of that pilling. Oh, what a mess my face is today. Okay, so that is what I'm going to do with the eye. I'm going to do, I'm going to replicate what I did here on the other side, and then we can talk about how I'm going to finish up the look. Okay, I have finished the two eyes. I think they look pretty much the same. I do want to reapply the red stiletto uh, as I did have it on at the very beginning of the video, so let's just do that. And this is the one from uh, last year. I did not see the point of opening up the one from this year given it's the same number, same color. And I'm paranoid about, about having uh, lipstick on my teeth, so I'm going to take uh, the finger and do the usual trick to make sure I don't have lipstick on my teeth, which is this. So anything that would have ended up on my teeth ends up on my finger. Okay, now we are ready to talk about finishing up the eye look. And for that, I'm going to use mostly what is available in the kit, but there is no black eyeliner this year, either a cool pencil or a liquid liner. So I'm going to bring in the Trooper liner from KVD Vegan Beauty. And the Definicil Mascara with the Sil Booster XL Primer. I'm going to be using these two in conjunction. And you already know what I've done for lipstick, so that's already done. And I have my trusty palette again. I will use the mirror from the palette. And if you're curious about the liner, this is what it looks like. And on the upper waterline, I do have, I don't have it out, but I do have the Urban Decay Zero, which is a black liner on my upper uh, waterline, and that's just going to stay as is. So here I go with Trooper, and I'm going to go and do a nice, just regular black line on my upper lash line. This is a, a mini, and it's not going to have that much longer with me because it's starting to feel like it's drying up. It hasn't started skipping or anything, but it is drying up. I do like this, uh, this liner. It doesn't do a bad job at all. Had a couple of other liners earlier this year that I did not like as much, that's for sure. One that I was really sad to finish though was the Fierce Flicks by Siate London. I really like that one. Okay, I think that looks all right. They're not quite even, but cousins instead of sisters, I guess. Is that the saying? Cousins and, uh, I don't remember. I'm, I'm not, <laughs> English is not my first language, so sometimes I do botch up expressions. And I got, I managed to get Trooper all over my fingers. Okay, so that is good. We've got that one done. Let's get into the primer and the mascara. The primer, if you have not seen it yet, looks like this. It's a white base. I guess it does help you see where you've got primer versus mascara. Or to make you feel like you're doing something different. I don't know. I'm not a big believer in primer, but I'm guessing if you have um, thinner, sparse uh, lashes, maybe you can tell me whether or not a primer makes a difference for you. 
I don't have huge lashes uh, by any means, but um, I, I just don't see the, the difference with a primer really. So maybe you have a different experience. I mean, this is one of their best-selling products at Malcolm, so there must be something to it. It's been in their lineup for years. Okay, so that seems to be enough. And now for the Définicil, and if you're not familiar with that one, although that one again has been around for a long time, I prefer the Drama, which is more of a volumizing. This is more of a defining mascara. And it's brand new. I don't know why I feel like I need to go in for more right away. It's not as though it's old, but it might be that it's not quite thick. You know when a mascara is kind of in the middle of its use? To me, that's it's perfect. At the beginning, it's a little bit too watery for my taste. It doesn't stay on the lashes enough. Okay, so there we go. And now other side. I did put a lip liner with the red, but it just feels like it's bleeding a little bit on me. If you're curious, I used a, a $1 Wet n Wild uh, liner, lip liner. That's how fancy I am today. Okay. I think that's enough. Uh, that's a little bit. Uh oh. Come on, separate you guys. Sometimes you have to get the big guns. So I just want to make sure that some of these lashes are separating. And sometimes when you do that, you end up making more of a mess. Okay, and then I have a little smudge up here. I don't know if you can see it. If you have a mascara smudge on your eyeshadow, let it dry, then it flakes off. So it's just a matter of being a bit patient. And so I'm not going to do setting spray right away because I want to take care of that smudge. Uh, but let's take a look to make sure that there's nothing else that's needed in this look. And I'm really debating. I feel like I should do something with the lower lash line. Maybe a nice chocolate brown would be nice. Let me see what I can find in my uh, eye pencils. Given we have kind of a neutral look, but it's gold, I thought that maybe the Urban Decay in Stash would look good. It's kind of a khaki green with a little bit of gold in it. It makes me think of High Vibes, uh, the new one from the Stoned Collection. And um, I think that would look good on the lower uh, lash line. So let's try that. It does match my eye color, so that's probably a good thing. Got a little bit of fallout of that um, from that gold glittery shadow on the lower lid. It's not it's not too too much. Okay, yeah, I think that that just added a little something. I think it looks pretty good. Um, and now that mascara is set, so I can just flake it off with a Q-tip, which I'll do right now. Okay, here we go. I think you've probably seen this hundreds of times on YouTube, but if not... It's stubborn. Oh, there we go. Pretty much. Just 
going to go in again with my brush and just see if I can even that out just a tiny bit. Okay, no harm, no foul, as Teresa is dead would say. What's left? Uh, setting spray is left, so I'm going to go and just off camera and put on some MAC Fix Plus, and I will have my final thoughts. If you're curious what I was using, it's just a little sample size. I've used it in a few videos already, and it's 30 mil or one fluid ounce, uh, US fluid ounce. And um, I like it. It kind of, it, it locks, but I don't know how secure that is really. <laughs> um, but I do like the size of it. I think it's about twice the size of a um, sample from uh, the Urban Decay All Nighter. So anyway, I, I like the size of this. That's, that's just thought I'd share. Now for this palette, I, this is a very neutral light look compared to the last look I did. Um, I, last one I did was with the green. Helps if I open it on the correct side of the palette. So last time was was in here, very, very deep colors, and I was more on this side of the palette this time. And so I think it pairs really nicely with a bold look. So if you tend to want to do something neutral, but neutral, sultry, festive at the same time, I think that this palette does uh, deliver. And uh, so this is look two. If you have any requests for the next look, I am really wanting to do a look with um, either one of these or maybe both. I do want to finish up a lookbook, so I'm going to do some more looks. If you have preferences, please let me know. Don't be shy. And um, with that, I will say thank you so much for watching this second look using the Lancôme Holiday Blockbuster Set Palette for 2020. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. But for now, take care.